And question 5. 57 cars had their speeds measured as they drove down a particular street that had a speed limit of 60 kilometers an hour. The data was found to be approximately normal, okay, there's those key words, with a mean of 56 and a standard deviation of 2. So, part A. How many motorists were driving at a speed of between 54 and 58 kilometers an hour? So let's start by drawing ourselves a bit of a bell curve and putting this mean in the middle here. So the mean was 56. And we've got standard deviations of 2 either side. So if we go down 2, we get to 54. And if we go up 2, we get to 58. And so before I ne even need to put anything else on the graph, I've already found 54 and 58. How many motorists were traveling at a speed between that and that? Okay, so I found these uh, interval, this interval where 68% of the data lie. But I can't give 68% as an answer because they want to know how many motorists, how many of the actual people. So there were 57 cars all up and I know 68% of them were traveling between that speed. So I need to know 68% of 57. So you do on your calculator, the buttons are 68 per cent, so per 100 divided by 100 times for of and then 57. Now the answer that you get is 38.76. Uh, 38.76. Does this make sense as an answer? How many motorists were driving at a speed of between 54 and 58? Can you have 38.76 of a motorist? No, you can't. You can only have 38 or 39 motorists. You can't have a percentage of a motorist. Now, were there actually 39 of them that were traveling that fast? Normally in maths, when you have 0.76, you would round this up wouldn't you? Because anything over 0.5 you would be rounding upwards. But because we didn't actually have all 39 people that we could count, the closest is 38 people. Because when you've got discrete numbers like this, um, you, you can't round up if the person didn't actually travel that fast, basically. And because we can't give a decimal answer when it's a discrete number, we actually do have to round down. So what we say here is, therefore, uh, 38 motorists. And that's the answer to part A. Now for part B, how many motorists were driving at a speed of between 58 and 60 kilometers an hour? I'll just do this one in a different color. So between 58 and 60. Okay, so we've got standard deviations of 2. So I'm going to go another standard deviation up and I get to 60. Okay, so we're dealing with this 2 standard deviation rule, which means there are 95% in the middle between there and there. So how many motorists were driving at a speed of between 58 and 60? Okay, so what they want to know is between here and here, how many motorists were traveling in there? So how are we going to work that one out? Well, let's go with what we know. We know that between uh, upwards of this point, if this is 95%, this gap here, we know that the remaining 5% is split between this tail and this tail, which means that there's 2.5% in each end. So this bit is 2.5%. We also know that this whole tail, which I'll just draw in pink, Actually, that looks a lot like the purple. I'll do this in red. Oh, um, I'm running out of colors. We'll have to go with black. Boring color, but anyway. We know that this whole tail here, if we've got 68% in the middle, we know the remaining 32 is split between the two tails. So this whole tail is 16%, which is half of that 32. So if I've got this big black bit, is 16% and I've got a little blue bit inside it there that's 2.5%. What I need to do to work out the difference between here and here is to say 16 minus the 2.5. So 16% percent minus percent minus 2.5% percent is 13% sorry, I've gone off the edge of the screen, is 13.5%. So that is the answer, in a sense, to this what's traveling between here and here. 
but to complete the answer we need to say how many motorists. So we know it's 13.5% of them, so on the calculator we do, calculator, we do 13.5% of 57, which is 7.695. Now we have the same problem that we had in the last question in that we didn't have seven motorists and we didn't have eight motorists, but we can't round this up to eight because we didn't actually get to eight in our measurement. So we have to round down even though every fiber in your being is saying it's a six, you need to round it up. But because we're talking about discrete numbers, we round this down and so we have seven motorists. Okay, so part C. Now they want to know how many motorists were speeding. Okay, so what is speeding defined as? We've set up here the speed limit is 60 kilometers an hour. So they want to know how many people were going above that speed. Well, we've already worked out that 60 falls two standard deviations up from the mean. So all we need to work out is what's in this remaining section here, which we've actually, actually already done as part of this previous question. We worked out that if there's 95 in the middle, that remaining tail must be 2.5%. So how many motorists were speeding? The answer is not 2.5%, it's 2.5% of this 57. So we say 2.5% of 57 and we get 1.425. Now in this case we think oh we should round it down and it turns out because you can't have 0.7 of a person, things like that, we are going to round it down anyway. And the answer is there was one motorist speeding. That's how you work out that question. For people who are feeling confused about why I rounded those, um, the purple number and the blue number down for part A and B, I'm just going to say one more time quickly. First of all, don't worry about it too much. This really rarely comes up in a further maths exam. Um, I haven't seen it in an exam for a while. I can't remember seeing one. Most of the time they'll give you continuous data so you don't run into this problem. But this is the reason for it, just in case you're interested. It's because it's discrete data, because we're counting people. So let's say, for example, we're giving people speeding tickets for if they're speeding. Now, part C, there was actually only one person speeding, but let's just say anything above 54 kilometers an hour was speeding. So in part A, we had 38.76 people traveling between 54 and 58 kilometers an hour. We didn't actually count the 39th person. If we're standing on the street and we say, okay, there goes the 36th car, there goes the 7th, 37th car, there goes the 38th car, we're counting them as they go past. We haven't actually counted the 39th, we're just almost up to counting it. It's like if one comes past every 10 seconds, we're almost ready for another car to come past, but it hasn't got to us yet before we stop. So when you're counting discrete numbers, if you haven't actually counted the next one, you can't give them a ticket basically. If we're saying okay let's give 39 people speeding fines, the 39th person is going to feel really shafted because he wasn't actually speeding, it was just that statistically he, he might have been going to. So when you're counting people or discrete data like cars or something like that where you can't have a percentage of it, then you have to round down. And if that's about as clear as mud to you, don't worry too much about it. Most of the time they'll give you continuous data. And when it's continuous data, you don't have to worry about the rounding. Because if we were measuring um, something in centimeters, for example, then 38.76 would be a perfectly logical answer because you can have decimal places. It's only when the data is discrete that you need to give a whole number that you actually come across this problem anyway. And most of the time you'll be using continuous data.